cystic fibrosis, it's a genetic disease, and it kind of, it just makes your body have really thick mucus, which then can affect multiple organs in your body, and the main one it affects is your lungs. Um, I do the vest morning and night, and the vest kind of just shakes up the mucus in my lungs to help loosen it up so I can cough it out. At my best, when I'm feeling the greatest that I can feel right now, my breathing is only 25% of what a regular person can breathe. Even having the energy to do everyday activities like cleaning the house. And if I do clean, I kind of have to break it up. Like maybe do one little thing, take a break. Do another little thing, take a break. And I walk in the mall for exercise to keep my lungs as healthy as I can keep them for now and to try to stay in shape. So when I do get to transplant, my body is able to handle such a big surgery like that. Well, first of all, I never thought she'd leave home, that she'd be with us for ever, <laughs> kind of. I know she's pretty independent, but we're here to support her and help her and to help her with her everyday needs and problems. Uh, my overall health is generally decreasing. Once you're, you're not getting any better, you're either steady or you're going downward. I can't wait for the better quality of life. You know, it's going on a year and a half now, so it's over a year and a half, so it's, it's, it's nerve-wracking that way. You just want it to, to come and so she can proceed with her life.